Today we are going to understand the next part in mental master that is numbering system. Okay. So uh, if you remember, we have created a material which is given a name as laptop. Okay. Now we can see material in MM03. We are aware. So laptop B14 is our material. We can go and check the material details over here, right? Like this. But usually, whenever you see material number, it is always an alphanumeric or numeric code okay it is not like this kind of description only so how this number created how this number get assigned okay so let us understand what is a numbering system so in a sap mm material master material types are the material which are having the similar attributes are correct sorry in material master we can control the uh, function of the number by number range assignment external or internal okay so there are external number or internal numbers okay so what is the meaning by external numbers suppose i am going to create one new material number mm01 enter and here i select mechanical industry mechanical engineering and here i am selecting fault that is finish one i am creating finish material okay now if i am typing some number manually i'm giving some random number okay this is externally i'm feeding the number okay manually i will enter so what is error i'm facing over here Still let me... okay now here what is the only contain numbers it says yeah. with this material type external material number must not contain only numbers so it is saying it should have combination of material and alphanumeric or something. ASR something. Okay, so it's accepting external number, but the combination of numbers and alphanumeric numbers. Okay, then we can go ahead and create something inside that. Okay, then we can create a number. What do you want? That is called external number. Now, second option is internal number. Okay, so what is the internal number? Let me go to internal number slash n mm zero one. Now I'm not going to provide any material number here. I'm just going to select industry sector and material type. Now instead of FERT, we will go for ROH that is raw material. Okay. Let us go and create raw material. And I will press enter button. Now still system is proceeding ahead and system is saying okay what raw material you are trying to create okay enter okay so what is the raw material we will say this is printed circuit board for laptop okay and system has given a number seven some some sometimes zero and then 41 so from where this number is coming system is giving some number now the some numbers are not random they have some kind of logic or configuration behind this numbering system okay so what is that logic or what is the from where it is coming so you can go to transaction code m m n r this is a configuration by but it's not a transaction it's a configuration decode how the configuration path is you have to go to SPRO, Logistic, Material Master, Basic Setting. Okay. Okay. Or I will show you the path better. SPRO. Okay. You can go to SPRO, SAP Reference, IMG. Then you can go for Logistic General. Logistic General. Then you can go for material master and then you can go for what is this uh, basic settings basic setting basic settings and then basic settings and then material type 
and define number ranges for each motor type. So each motor type will have different number ranges and you can come again to the same T code MMNR. So this is a configurational T code where we can update the number ranges. Now, if you go to intervals, okay, so you can see these are the different intervals are there. Okay, currently we got this seven series number. Okay. So let us understand from where this seven series is coming. Okay. Now going back, if you select on this overview, okay. Now here you know what is your material type you are creating over here? It is R, right? Can you see over here? ROH. ROH. Okay. This is your raw material. So raw material, your material type is ROH. Okay. So you have to certainly search over here. This is a material type. You can see material type. So you have to search ROH over here. Can you see ROH over here? So there is no ROH. Okay. Here no ROH. Below also there is no ROH. So let's go down. This is Y ROH, which is not required. This is I ROH, which is also not our material raw motor type. We are looking for pure ROH. Okay. Here is ROH. Can you see everyone? Yes. This is ROH material type which we have selected, and this material already having the number range starting from 7700 to 799999. And out of this current number running is 49. Okay. So it is status number range is 49. Okay. Other material has been created but not used. Okay. How till now? Yes. Okay. Are we clear up till this? Do you understand how material number ranges has been assigned? Okay. Yeah. okay. Can you repeat uh, where is this option? Because uh, I'm not getting where we get that option. Number ranges. The number range is a T code MMNR. Okay. Let me go back. Okay. Okay. Directly jump back to this. Slash N M M N R is a T code. Okay. Or okay. the configuration T code. Once you enter okay. T code, here is the overview. You okay. can go to overview okay. and you can do the control F search and you can type your material type ROH and you can search. So you can see okay. the different ROH. Okay. So you are looking for this ROH material. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. You can see this is the R. Sorry, this is material element is wrong. Hold on. The ROH you are looking is this, this ROH material type. Okay. For this, this number range is assigned. Okay. Clear? Yes. Yes, clear. Now, this is the way we can have intervals and something can be created. Okay. Now, if you want to create any intervals, so you can create any specific intervals. Okay. And you can do the assignments accordingly. If you create your new material type, then you can create a material type and assign it its new intervals also. But mostly this job has to be done by MM people. So we should not bother, but we should at least know what we are doing. Okay. How these number ranges are updated and where it is updated. Okay. Clear to everyone. Okay. Yes. Okay. Chalo. Now, next part is Metal group H we talked on metal group yesterday, right? So metal group, how what is the metal group that we seen yesterday? Like this. I hope you remember. We talk about contact compact set R and M. Everybody recalling what is the industry yes. level? Right? Yes. So that concept is clear.